Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Cave. I hope everybody are doing the fan freaking fantastic today. We are back in my world and today I've had some issues. Not with this world specific, it could be my computer, but I logged on here and I had massive FPS lag. And so I restarted the client and uh, still had massive FPS lag, had to uninstall Optifine. And then I rebooted my computer and now it seems fairly good. I, <laughs> I hope that everything is okay. Anyway guys, uh, in the last episode we made the egg suma void, the redstone chicken producing redstone for us. And it's being sent over here. Today I would like to make a home for the chick eye. And I got a little bit of a plan. I think I want to make a an interior of a barn <laughs> to put these chicken in. <laughs> And that may sound completely stupid, and it probably is. We need to move that water. But I think it could be a little bit cool. Just a little bit. And one thing I wanna I wanna check a few things here before we get going also. Uh that's not it. Can I get down? Why do I hear a songbird? Oh, it's a hi. He was angry. Yeah, I just wanna see how we're doing with this. Yeah. <laughs> Eight thousand. Not a problem in the world still. Feels like uh I overestimated or I underestimated how big that storage disk was and I think did we not start the craft after a new one or for a new one uh one two two four no we did not did we yeah we don't have enough redstone for that actually that's kind of interesting why don't we have enough redstone I guess the the chicken yeah, the chicken are not sending it into the system. That's also something I want to take care of today. Making use of these chicken. Alright, so let's see. We'll go with our uh, wooden pathway leading down to this way. And then I'm not sure about the floor in here. But I'm thinking we'll definitely need to make it bigger than this. I'm thinking we'll have... We'll go one in and then I want to have these bars going up and then... Maybe the chicken can be sitting underneath, but I want to have like an overhang or like a loft area up there. Something like that. I don't think I've ever built a barn in this game, which is kind of weird. Maybe I have. I just can't remember it. But yeah, I think I think that's good uh, spacing and make it very wood heavy in here as well. Uh, as far as the length of this thing goes, it got to go quite a bit further, it feels like. Do I have silk touch on any of these shovels? No. Any of these? I need a block of grass and I actually don't have any more grass seeds. And... Yeah, no, I don't have any any shovels with silk touch. Okay, time to make a new shovel. Time to make a silk touch thing. We need a silky jewel. I know that much. I remember that much. Which is silky cloth times four around an emerald. Cool. And then we need, I'm just going to grab some cobalt, I guess. And boom, shovel completed. Nice. And then we take this and combine it with the silk jewel. And there we go. Silk touch shovel. Nice. That's very simple. And I think, yes, vein mining out this. Sweet. Uh, the reason I want grass, let me just get the last here. The reason I want grass is because I think that the floor... In here should be not grass blocks but path blocks I think it's uh, makes the most sense for this place so yeah yeah that's gonna look great that's gonna look good I need it to spread everywhere though so I also need some dirt we should really automate dirt fully at some point because it's a thing that I keep having to manually <laughs> manually break through to get because you have to hammer down gravel and for all of those who are new to modded out there you can actually spread grass faster using a watering can from extra utilities there are a lot of mods that offer the watering can extra utilities one is not great <laughs> it's kind of simple though so i like to use it it has to be lit up though because otherwise the grass can't be there and you run out of water off it then you have to go refill the water makes sense right pretty pretty straightforward all right, so I got some progress done here, and this is actually starting to look really good. <laughs> I really like it so far. I got a ceiling installed. 
I'm not the greatest with ceilings, but I really like what I did here. Uh, if we can climb up and even see it a little bit better. Uh, of course, I need another log over here, but I wasn't sure about the length. I may want to extend the length a little bit more. Uh, going with some spruce and yeah. This is where they would store the wheat. I've actually done some researches on barns just to just to know a little bit more. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. On this wall here, I think I want to use red terracotta. Right, like red hardened clay. And I got that idea like an hour ago or so. And then I was like, wait a minute. We don't have a way to get uh, fast amounts of clay. Unless we like do the manual process of uh, turning dust into clay blocks. Which would have been so much quicker. Because dust, well we have a lot of in our hermit machine. And then I would have just done, oh no, not that. I need, uh, yeah, I need to pick the water up and <clears throat> you know the process. But I started to look into doing it with chickens and... This was a grind, so in order to get the clay chicken, which I now finally have two of, and I'm going to take these two out, in order to get this one, I needed a sand chicken, which is something you can craft. Then I needed a snowball chicken, which I had to make from a lapai and a log chicken. Lapai chicken you can make and log chicken you can make. The only problem with this is that it takes so long in this stupid chicken breeder to, to make them. And now, like, for me to actually start... Or for the clay chickens to actually start being useful, I need like five of them at 10, 10, 10. Because these Exuma voids has been producing redstone for a long time now. And as you can see, it's not even a stack of blocks. So chickens are OP, but they're not OP. They're also kind of kind of slow. But anyway, uh, good news is that we have the we have the clay chickens on their way. I'm gonna try and 10, 10, 10 them as well, of course. Uh, and make a couple of them. Once you have them at 10, 10, 10, it's easy to make more because um, there is a growth, there is a growth thing, right? You you have the uh, growth 10, which means that they will grow quicker. Uh, so this process will be quicker, and this is the slowest it will be, like the one, 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 one. And I'm of course using my acceleration wand. Without the acceleration wand, I don't know what I would do. It's just. Yeah, you can see this is the fastest acceleration mode. It's just so tedious. It's so freaking tedious. So I have two and I keep doing this. Charge the next one up and then go back here. And I've been doing this for about an hour just to get the clay chickens. Uh, but I was thinking that we should plan out a little bit how we want to uh, put the chickens up. And um, I got an idea. I kind of want to put them in the walls. I think I said that earlier. It's actually been a while since I recorded the last piece. Sometimes it's weird like that. Um, but yeah, I think I want to set them in the walls. These are all 10, 10, 10. I may want a few more. Um, but if we were to have... Hmm. Yeah, maybe we just go with like... Something like this, and then I can decorate, I can put, we could have a wooden wall. Yeah, hold on, if we have a spruce wall here. Ooh, hello there, slime. I get slimes every now and again, by the way, like that, because I have a slime part on my tool. <laughs> Actually pretty useful if you, if you need slime. Uh, I'm using spruce here just because spruce is closest to the color of the roosts where the chicken grows in. Why do I have only two? Did I not have three? Anyway, I'm thinking we'll just put them like this and then have sections of, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections. And I, oh, what? Oh, can I put three in one? Wait a minute. That will change the use for an, the amount of roosts drastically. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> Oh, oh, crap. Okay. Well, let him sit there and grab my quartz chicken to compare with on the side here. Boop. Yeah, that would be amazing if you could stack them in... My goodness. If you could stack them in the roosts, I'd really, really like that. Then on the floor here, we'll just bring in dirt, I think. Um, I kind of want to see this now. Let's accelerate it. That gave me three. And with one... It gives me three. Oh, but that's quartz. That may be producing that by default. I guess the way to check this would be to have one in here. This is a huge finding. But yeah, that grows it slower as well. I think 
Okay, we still got three, but look at the speed. I think this is triple the speed. Oh, that's awesome. So you can stack the chickens in the roosts. I think we just confirmed that there. That there. I like that. That's a very cool thing. Now, another thing that I want to do here is we need to have some sort of wheat uh, income because we need seeds for the uh, for this process here, for the, for the breeding process. Um, and so... I also want to move the breeding process over uh, for whenever we want to breed stuff. Now, I got to figure out if I'm happy with the size of this thing. I may actually be. I may be happy with the size. Let's say that we are. If so, I want to place something over here where we breed the chicken. So it's easy for us to just run in and start the process of new chickens. I would probably want to have a separate uh, ME system or separate uh, uh, crafting system. Or not crafting system. Separate this system. <laughs> Ref Ref Re refined storage system. Just for the uh, just for the chickens. So I'm going to craft that up as well. We're going to need another crafting grid. I'm going to want another uh, disk drive. And probably... Oh yeah, I do have one of these now. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably not need a million different slots. So a 64k one is probably going to be enough for this. For this process here. Um... And just have one system where we dedicate uh, everything to the chickens. Now, all the loot from the chickens will go back into the main system. But it's going to be really nice to be able to browse all the chickens separately. Alright, so I think we'll put the chicken breeder uh, right over here in the wall. And then I changed out the, the spruce wood for this chisel spruce. I really like these planks here. It looks really cool with, with the line that goes across. And I did the same on the other side. The problem is, though, we need wheat. We need a lot of wheat, and I've been bone mealing it. Uh, I need it for decoration, and I need it for uh, for to make to make. Let's see, how many roosts are this? A lot of roosts. <laughs> I don't even know any. By the way, I figured out that 16 seems to be the uh, the maximum you can have, and I made some more clay chickens. So these are making clay, which I should have emptied earlier because I know for the past hour or so this has actually been full. But let's make these into these. And let's start the smelting of these. Because I do want to use some terracotta in the wall as well. Uh, but we got to automate wheat. Long story short, <laughs> we got to automate wheat. And I don't want to do a laggy wheat farm. So I think I'm going to go with a method that I'm not really using that much. Which is the phytogenic insulator. This is going to be a little bit tricky though. This is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. Because we're going to need to produce phytogrow. Uh, and that's nitrate, pulverized charcoal, and slag. Luckily, there is a slag chicken. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is a slag chicken. We saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, there, there is a slag. There's even a rich slag chicken. Ew. Let's just have a look. Phyto. Okay, there is no, there's no phyto grow chicken. Um... I don't think you can make this stuff. Oh, rich phyto grow. Oh, you can make it with the rich slag. Okay. So we need to produce niter and charcoal. Niter uh, is... Oh, you can make that through mystical agriculture. What tier is this? Tier 3. Ooh. I wonder, do I have any niter? I don't. Hmm. We can pulverize sandstone to get it. That's how I usually do it. Yeah, we may have to... Oh, wait. Saltpeter chicken. <laughs> I mean, if we can make it through chickens. This is a redstone chicken and a sulfur chicken. Gunpowder flint. And how do I get a gunpowder one? That's flint and sand. Okay. So this would be a little bit of a grind to get to. We do already have the egg suma, the redstone chicken. Hmm. The problem with, with uh, breeding chickens is that it takes a lot of time. But so we could produce nitre. And then we need charcoal. Uh, we need pulverized charcoal. And, I mean, charcoal isn't an issue to set up. I do also want to put my energetic infuser in here, by the way. For this, for the breeding purposes. Just for these acceleration ones. Uh, so, I think I'm going to do something like this. And, got two of these bad boys. We'll stick one on the back. One there. Put a torch in there. And... All right, I'll I'll cover that up <laughs> later. Forgot to bring stone. Um, yeah, I, I these these needs to be. 
I need to use these to, to breed chickens. So we're going to make a gunpowder chicken. We're going to try and make this nitre chicken. And yeah, the problem is that this takes such a long time and it's so boring and this feels like <laughs> it's all I've done today. I've actually already spent two and a half, uh, two and a half hours on this episode. Basically, most of that off camera. I don't even know how much video time we have at the moment because I've also recorded this video over the, over the course of three days because I got sick and stuff. So it's a little bit weird. Hopefully it makes sense. Oh, wow. Hopefully it makes sense. That was lucky. There's only a 20% chance. And then we need to make uh, the flint one. So you with mummy flint. And now I want the sulfur one. I don't know how you would want to do this without an acceleration one, to be honest. <laughs> it's just... It's so slow. If you guys have any... I Because this is red. So I'm not sure if it's like doing it wrong. If you guys have any idea. And then we got flint. Uh, if you have any idea how to speed this up, if that's a possibility, actually, I should check under roost. I know a lot of people know a lot more about this mod than I do. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna lie, it is a massive grind to get any chickens, but like when it's like tier 8 chickens or whatever these are, yeah, this this takes time. So I managed to get to slag and I'm getting them to 10, 10, 10 at the moment, and I also have made saltpeter chickens to 10 10 10 so these are producing nitre fantastic uh, i did say earlier i think even though it was like yesterday for me that we should make a storage unit for the chickens so i'm gonna install that here and this is gonna be a separated me system or separated refined storage system from our uh, main system which i think is gonna be a good thing let's put this uh you know what i kind of want to I brought one of these Spectre coins, which we have like 30 of now, so <laughs> we can just use them as wireless. Yeah, I kind of want to do that so that I can check this in case it gets full. And then we made a 64k one. Oops, that's the wrong spot. That's the filter. We want to put it there. Uh, 64,000 different chickens. I think that should be enough, but we, <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. We'll cover this up. And um, yeah, I, I don't know how to design this yet, but anyway... In here, we can just stack all of these excess chickens that we have. And we have a lot of them. <laughs> we have so many. I think we can also, like, stack any eggs and stuff we, we get. Uh, not normal eggs, though, because I do want to use my normal system for crafting. But, yeah, look at this. When you breed the chickens up, like, you get a lot of garbage ones that I guess I could just throw away. But we could just store them in here. It's kind of one of those things that uh, it doesn't really matter. One other thing I want to figure out here as well. I'll empty the rest in a, in a little bit. I do want to figure out the roost collector's range. Because I don't know. And this is going to be very valuable when we get... Uh, when, we, when we hook this up to our main system. So that we send all the resources that we are making back to our main system. The ideal position for it would be to have it like right here. And then for the very edge ones. These ones. Or I guess this one to reach... And I guess the way we can check that is just to see if this receives anything. I would be very surprised if it reaches all the way over there. Uh, I guess we'll speed this up a little bit. Yeah, no, it does not reach all the way over there. I didn't think so. So we're going to need a multiple roost collectors. So it definitely reaches here. But that's not really good enough. Can I have it one down at least? I was going to hide it completely. But I guess it doesn't matter because it has like that spruce color. Uh, will it reach? Yeah, okay, so it reaches there. So we need one, we need six of these roost collectors and six external storage buses. Maybe we'll start by hooking that one up there. All right, and uh, you just need, we just need to connect this up anywhere on the network. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter where it is, by the way. Um, but there we go, that's connected up to the network. So that should start importing, uh, in theory, the stuff we need. Uh, or all the things that goes to the roost automatically, automatically, which is very nice. And I do need to do some repairing here. I'm going to put a torch as well. Boop. There we go. But yeah, all of this is going to be exported. And then it can't keep up at the moment. That's why we made the stack and the speed upgrades. And now, yeah, it should easily empty that. I could possibly even save on the speed upgrades. Well, <clears throat> we may just as well put them in there. Because uh, we're going to have more chicken spots here. And that's all uh, sorted. That's all done and dusted. I guess this is just the previous stuff before I had this system set up. So I think I could probably empty this. Can I put it in here? I can. Nice. 
So anything I put in here, technically right now, should just go back into the system. Uh, just make sure that everything is going. And then now, if we look over here, we should have Niter for the first time ever. And these are things, by the way, that I probably do want to put in my storage drawers. Because, yeah, these are things that uh, we're definitely going to fill up with very, very quickly. So anything that we make from the chickens, just to be absolutely sure that we don't over flood the system, we'll just put in the in the drawers. Oh, I got a rich lags chicken now. Nice. I don't know if I can be asked right now to <laughs> make it into... Because uh, I need another one first. First, I need to get two rich lag chickens. Uh, I think slag is fine. Oh, I did get two. Uh, I don't know. It's such a pain to restart making them 10 10 tenders. <laughs> but it would be better. And there's a 10 10 10 of the normal slag. Got six of the rich now. <laughs> oh, by the way, we've got a fluid cow. And I didn't know fluid cows was a thing in this. But that's all another way of uh, automating resources <laughs> that we may definitely look into. Uh, later down the line. Okay, so there's one thing here. Tiny charcoal seems to be enabled. This is a thing that I disabled in Foodcraft. Uh, and because we need pulverized charcoal, we may get lucky and be able to use this tiny charcoal. We're gonna give it a try here. Phyto. If I'm right, this should craft. Oh, nice. Okay. So from one charcoal, we can get eight tiny charcoals. This is insane because normally you need one charcoal per 16 Fido Grow. You need to pulverize it as well. But all we need to do is set up an, a recipe or set up an auto crafter that does that process that I just did and then crafts this. So let's get a crafter from RF Tools. This guy here. This is the best auto crafter there is in modded Minecraft, I think at least. All right, so here comes our network. Boom. And. We're going to be exporting there. And what we're going to be exporting is logs, oak, logs. Wow, we don't actually have... Hmm, we don't have a lot of that stuff. That may very well be producing way too slow, actually, now that I saw that. So I may need to increase the amount of uh, wood uh, oak trees. That's weird, though, because, like, we have quite a few of them producing oak. But yeah, I feel like that's going to run out for sure. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this. So we're, let's specify the exporter with uh, oak. On the back, we're doing blue. That imports it. Nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. Boom, boom. And like I said, I'm just going to use these guys. So you can go there for now. Um, and that should make it fairly quick. <clears throat> we don't actually need loads of this because of the uh, tiny charcoal recipe. <laughs> which, is, which is like a little bit of a glitch, I guess. Uh, I guess I can do something like this. Put you there. This is the crafter. And then we're going to say extract to the side. That pushes it in here. Nice. And we're going to teach this guy two recipes. The first recipe is to take this hammer and charcoal. And that makes the tiny charcoal. And let's do on to activate so that we can control this. We also want to set this to result of crafting operation will stay in the input buffer. Yes, because this is part of the next recipe. So we want to do apply. That's going to create tiny charcoal. And then we need to export the other stuff. So we need the niter and we need the slag. Which both of these things we are producing automatically from the chickens. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the slag there, the niter there. Then I'm going to fill this rest with cobblestone. And then I'm going to press uh, remember... Actually, I kind of wanted to do one craft as well. Oh, no. I need I need the tiny charcoal in here as well. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to press remember. Now, what this does is that it filters the slot. So you can see that it kind of blocks it from having anything else. Which is really essential for this. Otherwise, it would just mess up. <laughs> so our second recipe that the same crafter will be responsible of is niter, slag, and tiny charcoal together. Makes the phyto grow. Boom. Uh, and this goes to the external, so this goes in here. Nice. If we now, ex uh, first, we need another exporter. Export her. And then we need to export. We can do that from the back. And, and in this exporter, we're going to export the niter and the slag. Because remember, they come from the main system. So they're going to fill up here. I may very well want some speed upgrades on this, though. I'm not sure. Did I not have... I did have more speed upgrades on me. Come on, man. OK, 
Okay, there we go. And we'll put two speed upgrades in here. That should be enough. Because it only has two slots, it's going to fill those two slots up and then stop. Uh, and then we want to import the result being the uh, Fido Grow back into the system. So we'll do that from the bottom and we'll put another speed upgrade on this guy. Now if I start this, look at that. It's making Fido Grow. <laughs> and as you can see, it's just going to constantly make Fido Grow. So here's why I want to block this spacing because if i didn't it will just continue to burn wood in all eternity i even think that we have a little bit too much storage here so maybe we'll decrease it to like one emerald upgrade i think that's going to be more than enough uh and i'll put another speed upgrade or another couple speed upgrades on the importer here boom so that's importing back to the system the thing is crafting everything is working we have production of phyto grow Yay! That was a bit of a process, <laughs> but there we go. There we go. And Fighter Girl, like I said, is a mechanical bone meal. And the reason we want this is because in the phytogenic insulator, we can now make most vanilla seeds um, or automate most vanilla seeds like wheat, for example, in this machine. So let's try and craft this guy up. Luminum is another alloy. We need an alloy furnace. We need to make something where we can make alloys more easily. Um, but this is energized glowstone, molten silver, and molten tin. And now we're getting molten aluminum. Nice! I should really install a base in here so we can output it in block form, but yeah, it's okay. Alright, so with that we can make aluminum gear and phytogenic insulator. It's just two copper gears, one of these, and any dirt. Nice! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! And I'm also going to want another upgrade kit. Uh, we do want an alloy smelter for the automation of invar and stuff, though. So let's try and put an exporter on the back. And we're going to be exporting uh, seeds, I'm guessing. There is an upgrade where you don't have to re-export the stuff. It will just cycle the, the seeds. Because basically what this does is it infuses it with sunlight and water and uh, duplicates it. But yeah, we want to export Fido Grow and seeds, I think. And then we need to provide it with water. Um, so let's do that from here, like so, with a servo there, and, oh yeah, that's already importing. Okay, so now this thing is doing something, let's upgrade it, boop, and I wonder if it gives us seeds or wheat, it gives us both seeds and wheat, good, 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 but as you can see, it also uses a seed, so there is an upgrade where you don't have to resend the seeds, but we don't really need that, we don't really care for that right now, because we're just going to import everything in the bottom here, uh, like a so, and extract both, yeah, that's going to send it back to the system, once again, because we're automating this, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we are actually saving it in the proper way like that so we don't overflow the system nice and there we go now we have a wheat wheat farm <laughs> using the phytogenic insulator nice yeah that looks really really good <laughs> really really good one thing that would make it look even better is if we would have a uh window here i guess is that how we would make it We'd have a little window here with white around it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm falling down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this place is a mess at the moment. I do need to repair it and stuff. But um, how do I get white there though? And maybe, maybe that doesn't look <clears throat> that good. They're usually rounded windows. But if I do that, then that would look... That would look pretty cool. I don't think... Maybe we don't need any white there because we don't have anything on the outside. Yeah, this is actually looking like an underground cave barn. <laughs> I like it. I really like it. And there we go. Nice. I do really think this did a lot to this build. This red inside. And also it like changes up the... Uh, from the outside it looks really cool. Still not sure what to do on this wall. If I should just do the same and call it, uh, call it good. I'm not happy with how this looks. It looks a little bit too messy, but... Yeah, all in all, like, this is an awesome place to, to put our chickens down. And <laughs> now that we have wheat as well produced, I can just multi, multi-craft the, uh, uh, the roosts. Because this has been an issue before where, yeah, I haven't had enough hay bales. But you can see, already 31. Nice. How are we doing for oak? Yeah, we are going backwards on it. 
And I think, I think, uh, I, even though it's been a grind with all the different things I made today, I think definitely it's worth it in the end. Uh, what is involved making the collectors? That's just random garbage or random stuff that we have a lot of. Or is it a specific chicken? Can I not use any chicken? I would like to use like these. Ah, nice. So, so there is a use for <laughs> for chickens that you've already that you've already uh, used once. Five should be just enough, right? Let's just install. I need to wait for some more wheat, but let's install that and that and all of these. All right, good. And then uh, I was thinking maybe we can put some hay bales and stuff here. It doesn't really make sense, but the hay bales, in my opinion, adds to it. I do want to see the chicken though, so maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah, adds a little bit of color as well. Adds a little bit of color and this here, it's originally going to be spruce, but I think it's really nice to have the dirt going all the way in there. Yeah, we got our undergrave, underground cave uh, barn, and I'm really happy with it. I was really struggling thinking about something uh, or a neat way to do these chickens where it doesn't look crowded or ugly, and... I'm very happy with it, so <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, of course, remember to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you are new. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a fan-freaking-tastic evening, and I will see you dudes in the next episode.